Well, family, it's that time again. The Friday Food Series, here on Rasta's Realities. I'm your host, Rasta Kill Bomani. And today's Friday's food is none other than Oprah Winfrey. And the way that she constantly, seemingly, only attacks people who look like she does. And we can only guesstimate why one would do that. I can think of one off the top of my head, and that would be for profit. For the longest time, there has been an agenda to disparage Ebony Man, despite our contributions to the world, as far as inventions and the molding of society and what we have done to make life better, not only for ourselves, but for the masses as well. Yet the masses still are inventions. Rename creators, take credit where credit is not due, kill, maim, and destroy the characters of good men, all for fun and profit. This behavior is extremely destructive, not only to the person who is participating in it, but, of course, uh, the obvious to the person that's intended to inflict. And this behavior is also expected from others, not of the ebony sorts. Because, uh, let's be frank here, even though I'm Rasta, there's no surprise that no one operates properly when it comes to ebony folk, including ebony folk. This is not acceptable in any regards, especially for my own, as we fight the world, and we men do not want to come into our homes to another battle, or to see another sister bashing other brothers all over the media and the press for like clicks, clickbait, and profit. As I stated, this Friday's Food Series is Oprah, Oprah, the princess of propaganda, attacking men, but not all men, just ebony men. Any sister not aligned with their man to fight in unison against the machine and the system that destroys all including the same sisters that use the system against the brothers to harm their men, mentally and emotionally, and rarely physically. See, during the old slavery days, they treated the sisters slightly better than the men for obvious reasons. But in hindsight, ebony is ebony. And if you would inquire from other ethnicities their true thoughts on ebony folks, aka black people, and whether or not they fuck with us, the consensus is, yes, I work with ebony folk or black people. Um, Most will tell you that. The rest of the lie would would, would speak the truth or lie to your face. I'm not referring to the empathizers uh, of other ethnicities. I'm talking about those who say things like, I got black friends, but only in the presence of other blacks. They will not say that out loud around their own. I'm not sure if, if... Oprah has been assaulted by a black man within her lifetime, but her progressive black man bashing, not 
her and her other black constituents for crimes done by all men of every ethnicity is openly one-sided. Even the detractors can see this crap that's going on. Oprah, the princess of propaganda, is the ultimate example of a sellout, which I spoke about in my last video by the name of Too Poor to Be Bought, which speaks to the integrity as well as other attributes that are conducive to self-love. Because without any self-love, you can't love anyone else. This Friday's Fool Award this week goes to, drum roll please, Harpo, aka Oprah, and any other female that harms their men for any reasons. I am not advocating, not holding males accountable for their actions if they have wronged someone, but if you, we are going to participate in that, all can get this work, especially when they're cozied up with the oppressor or the downpressor man. It is shameful, disgusting, and ushers in the new form of slavery of which we are currently experiencing. I implore those who believe that we are free to take another look some eye drops in your eyes, get some sleep, wake up refreshed and take a look again, because this, this, these are the new slaves. But being the better you does not include selling out. I appreciate the love, support, links, and contact information are in the description and also in the first comment. Nothing changes until you do. Thank you.